the expression i to the 50th power plus i to the 0 power is equivalent to question mark. All right. So now we want to evaluate these one by one. So let's take i to the 50th power first, since it's the more complicated one. Now we know that a property of i is that i squared is equal to negative 1. So the goal here is to write i to the 50th power in terms of i squared. Well, remember that when you have a power taken to another power, you multiply the exponents together, right? So we can actually rewrite this as i squared to the 25th, because then when we distribute this 25 back in, the 25 times 2 is going to give us 50. So it's an equivalent expression. But then i squared is equal to negative 1. So we have negative 1 to the 25th power. So how do we evaluate that? Well, remember that if you have negative 1 to any power n, that's going to equal positive 1 if n is even. Right, so think of negative 1 squared. It's going to be positive 1. And it's going to be uh, negative 1 to the n is going to equal negative 1 if n is an odd number. For example, negative 1 cubed. It's going to give you just negative 1. And it's true for any n that's even or odd. So in this case, since 25 is an odd number, this is going to simplify to just negative 1. So now we've gotten i to the 50th power. So the second term, i to the zeroth power, is just equal to 1 because remember that property of exponents that says that any number taken to the zeroth power is 1 provided that that number wasn't 0 to begin with. So now we have, we simplified i to the 50th power and we simplified i to the zeroth power. So combining them together, this is the same thing as negative 1 plus 1 which is going to be equal to 0.